Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we will see a sixth problem in exercise 1.2 of real numbers chapter. The problem is find the value of root 7 up to 6 decimal places by long division method. Okay. Already in this process we have seen root 3 and root 5 also in our previous videos. So in the same model here. So here they asked up to 6 decimals. So write 7 first and put the decimal point and after 7 write 6 pair of zeros. That means 2 to zeros as one pair and put a bar on each pair. Okay. They asked to find out up to 6 decimals. So we wrote 6 pair of zeros and we put bar on them. That means this is one set. Every time we can bring down one set of zeros. Okay. So for find out the square root value, we use square table only. That means 1 into 1, 1, 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 3, 9. Like this only we will read the tables. So here 3, 3 is a 9 more than 7. So again we use 2 only. 2, 2 is a 4. So after subtracting we get 3. So to bring next pair of digits down just as in our normal division here decimal point is. So put this point here and write next set of zeros down. So now this value is 300. So now what is there in the quotient 2? Just add the 2. So it is 4. 4 7s are 28. First two digits I am checking. 4 7s are 28. So 47 7s we will check. Each time you have to check like that. 7 7s are 49. 7 4s are 28 plus 4 32. It is more than 300. 329 means. So 46 6s. You have to check every time. So calculation only your problem. The process is very easy. So here 36 and 24 plus 3 276. So after subtracting 10 minus 6 4 2. Again we write next set of zeros down. Okay and this 46 what what we wrote in the quotient last time 6 or what is there here just add that number 46 plus 6 will become 52 so here 24 is there and here 5 5 4 is 20 right it is very less than 24 so you can check 5 24 4 5 24 4 4 4 is 16 so it is 29.6. So after subtracting 10 minus 6, 4, 0, 3. It is 3, not 4. Again, we write this set of zeros down. Now, to this 524, each time here, divisor will change. Okay, students. So here we wrote 4, just add that 4 or here 4 is there, no? just add that 4. So this is 528. Now you see 5, 6 is 30. 5, 6 is 30. But it is exactly value. So 5208 something value will be more than 30,400. Right. So 5, 5 is 25. So we can check and write. You, every time you have to check. So 5,285 is 25, 42, 14, and 26. So this is 26,425. 
again we have to subtract 13 minus 4 9 and 9 minus 6 3 next set of zeros bring down ok now here in the quotient 5 is there just add that 5 or otherwise last digit just add that last digit now it is 5 plus 5 10 so here 8 will become 9 right so 290 now you see here 39 is there 5 7 is a 35 5 8 is a 40 right it's more than 39 so we can write 7s okay if we check 52907 into 7 49 7 6 is a 42 plus 6 48 7 5 is a 35 plus 4 39 so it is 39000 7 5 is a 35 wait here 7 9 is a 63 7 2 is a 14 plus 6 14 plus 6 20 right 7 5 is a 35 plus 2 37 so this is 3 lakh 70 thousand 349 we write that only. So after subtracting, we get 10 minus 9, 1, 9 minus 4, 5, 4 minus 3, 1, here 7, 2. And next pair of zeros down. What about our divisor here? Here we have to write 7, right? So add plus 7, now it is 940. 5 5 is here 27 is there 5 5 is a 25 if we check 5 5 every time we have to write in divisor and in the quotient also okay if we multiply we get this 26 lakhs 45725 after subtracting 5 9 minus 2, 7. 3, 10 minus 7, 3. And here 14 will be there, no? Little borrow. 9. Again 10 minus 4, 6. 6 minus 6, 6, 0 only. So next pair of zeros, write down. Here we wrote 5. In the question just add that 5 every time you have to add the last digit to the previous number okay so if you add it is so after adding 5 we get 50 here so 52 this is 5 lakh 29150 now if you see this is 69,000, Here we write one number, right? We will write one number in the divisor. Then it will become 52,91,500 and something. So then only one time, this is 69 lakhs. So write one and here also one. So this is 52,91501. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 6 decimals. So after subtracting, we get 10 minus 1, 9, again 9, 14 minus 5, also 9, 6 minus 1, 5, 13 minus 9, 
4 8 minus 2 6 6 minus 5 1 this will be the remainder because it is irrational number it is non-terminating or non-recurring so up to 6 decimals we calculated this so finally we can write root 7 is equal to 2.645 Seven five one. Okay, like this we can find out the value of root seven up to six decimals by long division method. So please share this video with your friends and please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.